Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Prize Pigs video. In this one, we're talking about the NBA for Monday, February 5th, and we are back after not making a video Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But if you guys want a ton more picks, we do have five plus cappers here in the Discord giving out picks less than a dollar per day on the monthly plan. You can see some massive hits over the weekend when we didn't have videos going. Kodak in the private Discord here. Finally hit a six hitter, and he recently joined up in the private Discord here. Ton of big hits in the Discord over the weekend. Another six pick hit here from iTail Everything, and then we got even more hits adding in some of the free squares you can get over on Prize Picks. There are some up for the Super Bowl as well, so definitely jump on those ones. Ton of big hits over the weekend. So definitely get over here less than a dollar per day on the monthly plan. We have five plus cappers in there and constantly bringing in new ones specializing in NBA, NHL now. So definitely get over there. Check out the private discord. Ton of people have been hitting those massive slips. So let's get into this video. The first one we're going to go to is going to be Darius Garland over on the points of 13 and a half. Garland has been on a minutes restriction, but it would be very crucial to hit him when he's coming out of that minutes restriction or when it's going to be raised a little bit more. We've already seen him starting to play more minutes. So liking Garland to get some more minutes and hit this one against the Kings in a really fast paced spot as well. And he just needs 14 points here. So checking out Darius Garland over here on Outlier, which is a great tool for data on player props and something I use every single day. They have a free seven day trial down below. So definitely check them out. You can see this one on the season. He's at 87% of the time. Didn't hit it in the last two games. But coming back from that injury, he hit 19 points his first game back. So he can score even in limited minutes. Past two games just have not been good ones. Even in kind of a blowout here, 117 to 101. He played a good amount of minutes in the blowout, 23.2. Game before that, 24.1. I think we could see him playing higher 20s of minutes and when he gets that many minutes, he's going to be hitting this. You can see when he's played 25 or more minutes so far this season, he's gone over this 100% of the time. So i like him to see that. For Garland, I think he's in a good spot. I think we're going to see that minutes bumped up against the Kings. Should be a high, fast-paced scoring game. So going to go to Garland here for the first pick. Then for the second one, we're going to come to a guy from this game as well, Sabonis. And we're going to be taking an under on the boards here at 13 and a half. This is a tough matchup for Sabonis, who has been playing extremely well, but now coming into one of the toughest matchups he's been seeing in a while here. Um, did really well, actually, against Miami in a tough matchup. But I think that here, especially with this really high line, it's, it's something we're going to go to on the under for Sabonis here. We can look at the data on this one. He hasn't hit this many rebounds that often this year so we can look at just the straight rebounds over 13 and a half on the season he's only hit that in 35 percent of games and it's not like he's hitting it like all the time as of late either if we dig into just the last 10 you know in his last how many games is this uh, his last seven games he's hit this four of seven so I guess if you just look at the last seven he's hit it over half the time but even in his last 10, he's hit it 40% of the time. Cleveland ranks 7th in the NBA, only allowing 42 boards per game. So Sabonis so definitely going to be in a really tough spot here. Just a line that he hasn't hit a lot this year. Again, 35% of the time in a tough matchup here. I think that we could take the under here of 13 and a half. So for Sabonis, so going to go under on that one. Then we're going to come over to Odds Jam, another tool that has a 7-day free trial and also... You can get 25% off when you use the link down below. Their top pick here is going to be Spencer Dinwiddie under 21.5 PRA. It's just higher line than any sports book right now. All these other ones have it at 20.5. So basically, Odds Jam will find you the best value plays based on what all these other sports books have. So this one, just a full point lower here. So taking that on what's already a pretty low line, so it does make a Quite a big difference if, you know, everything is lowered by one here. So coming over to Dinwiddie, looking at this one, he's just been severely struggling this year. And there's been a good amount of blowouts that Brooklyn has been a part of as well, where he's not playing as much. But you can see 
He's just been really struggling. So going to the PRA, they have it at 20 and a half over here as well on outlier, but we're going to get it at 21 and a half. And you can see he's hit over 20 and a half, 59% of the time. But we got to look at that alternate line at 21 and a half. He's only hit it 50% of the time. And again, if we zoom into the last 10 in his last six games, he's only gone over this one time. And that was against Phoenix, you know, going to be a pretty good matchup as far as back and forth scoring. They do play the Warriors, who have been giving up a good amount of points this year, but I just don't think Dinwiddie can get it going in this one. And we're taking a massive amount of savings as well. You can look at the Warriors' recent games. Against the Grizzlies, gave up just 101. Against the Sixers, just 107. So they are games where they can strap up defensively and allow you know 107 or less points. So we're going to go ahead and lock in Dinwiddie on the under for the odds jam pick of the day. Again, they do have a trial as well. Uh, you could use the link down below to get 25% off for Odd Jam if you want to check out that tool. A lot of great tools that I recommend, Outlier and Odd Jam, that I use throughout this video. And then we're going to go to our next pick here. It's going to be James Harden. And we're going to go to Harden uh, over on the points here. Kind of a bummer. It, this one was just at 20 and a half. Now it's at 21 and a half. So by the time I started recording this video, it did get bumped up to 21 and a half, unfortunately. But Still a line here I like against Atlanta, who Atlanta's been playing better, but they give up a ton of points. You just saw on the Warriors screen, they gave up uh, 144 to the Warriors, I think. So that will give up a good amount of points. Going to Harden here on the over with Paul George out is a big reason for his line being bumped up a little bit, but that's the reason we like it as well here. So if we look at Harden on the points, you can see he's only hit this in 33% of games, but if you go, but on Odd Jam, you can look at games without Paul George, and he's hit this in 67% of games here. Had some big of his biggest games of the season, 28 and 25 scoring, and we're going to get a great matchup here. 29th in the NBA as far as points allowed, 123.4 point per game, but Atlanta will give up a lot of points, but they'll hopefully keep it close as well because they've been playing better, which is crucial because, again, if we come back to Harden and let's just look at all games, we can also look at games, you know, where it's not a blowout. Harden's going to be playing at least 33 minutes, it looks like. And then you could look at how many times Harden has hit this when he's played a good amount of minutes here. So 34 minutes, he's hit this almost half the time. And in four of the last five games where he played that many minutes, he's hit over this. So liking Harden here on the points, I think he's in a great spot. Even though this one did bump up, I don't like it as much now. But I will take the, it's still at 21 and a half, even though it did get bumped. But hopefully it could bump back down. Or maybe the, a, a demon will pop up. And it would be one I would like it, you know, like 23 and a half or something like that as well on the demon. So Keep that in mind as well for Harden. And then we're going to go to another game here. We're going to go to Luka Doncic on the under, 36 and a half. You know, you hate to fade some of the stars, but with Luka here against Philadelphia, actually going to be a pretty tough matchup. And 37 points is just so much for Luka. Even though he's been hitting that as of late, you know, he's been really hot, but you got to think he will come back down to normalcy at uh, some point this season. And I think this is a spot where he could come back down to earth. So only 37% of the time he's had 37 or more points. Philadelphia, pretty solid defense, 14th in the league, allowing 113 points per game. And as of late, Philadelphia actually, so already aligned for Luka that he you know, only has hit 37% of the time this year. Obviously, he's hit it in three of his last four, but before that, missed it in five straight games. So he's just been on a hot streak. And, you know, with these players, they do come back down to earth in tougher matchups here. So I think Philadelphia is going to be a tougher matchup. And then we could see games with Kyrie also, who's expected to be back in this game. He's only hit this 23% of the time, five of 20 games. So another reason why, because Kyrie is back in this one, and he has a high points prop, which um, honestly, 27 and a half, 
I uh, think if both of them are playing, I would like going to the under of both of these. This is not a number Kyrie's hit a lot either, and especially with Luka both playing. Yeah, I kind of do think these are higher because they both are game time decisions. So one could get ruled out, which would make these lines look a little better. But honestly, I could maybe go to both these tomorrow on the under if they're both you know, playing and ruled in just really high lines for both of them. It would be an interesting stat to see how many times Kyrie scored at least 28 and Luka at least 37 in a game. I can't imagine that has happened too many times this year. So both really high lines as well that they just don't commonly hit. So if you guys want more picks, we have five plus cappers in the Discord, less than a dollar per day on the monthly plan. Some absolute massive hits over here in the Discord. All weekend when we weren't giving out picks on the YouTube, we were putting them in the private Discord here. Tons of big hits, including this 6 for 6 from a fairly new private Discord member here, Kodak. So definitely get over here. Check out the private Discord to get access to all that. And we'll see you guys over in there or in another video.